This is a Fox News Alert. I'm Brett Baer in Washington. We have three major stories at the top of our program tonight. Dueling speeches by the major party presidential candidates on race and temperament. Hillary Clinton says Donald Trump's slogan should be, Make America Hate Again, while Trump calls Clinton a bigot. We're pressing the White House to explain how President Obama made a $1.3 billion payment to Iran after saying he had to use cash for a $400 million transfer just two days earlier. Same time, Iran harasses more U.S. warships. Plus, a new court ruling in the Clinton email case. And we have new information tonight about the extraordinary lengths Hillary Clinton and her team went to make sure no one could find the thousands of emails she deleted after her run at the State Department and after finding out congressional committees wanted access to those emails. Chief Intelligence Correspondent Captain Harridge is here with our top story. Good evening, Captain. Well, Brett, a senior Republican on the House Government Oversight Committee who's read the FBI investigative file says Clinton's team used a technology called the bleach bit. It's like an electronic shredder that permanently scrambles the data. And they didn't just push the delete button. They had them deleted where even God can't read them. They were using something called bleach bit. You don't use bleach bit for yoga emails or for bridesmaids emails. When you're using bleach bit, it is something you really do not want the world to see. That's a striking claim given last year in Las Vegas at one of her rare news conferences, Clinton seemed to claim ignorance. You know, I don't, I have no idea. That's why we turned it over. You we were in charge of it. You were the official in charge. Did you wipe the server? What, like with a cloth or something? And Congressman Gowdy seemed to cast dead on FBI Director James Comey's claim that there was no evidence of criminal intent. Based on the FBI investigative file, including notes from Hillary Clinton's July interview, FBI agents never pressed Clinton on why she set up the server. He said he didn't go forward with charges because she didn't have specific criminal intent. I didn't see any questions on that. She said she did it for convenience, but, but, but I didn't see the follow-up questions in the interview I read. Republicans say the destruction of Clinton records after they got requests from Congress using this technology bleach bit shows intent to obstruct Congress and also intent to destroy government records, Brett. The head of WikiLeaks uh, on Kelly file last night mm -hmm. threatening to release more Clinton documents. Well, that's right. The founder of WikiLeaks confirming to the Kelly file that he has more documents. They are verifying their authenticity and then plan to release the emails before November. I don't want to give the game away, but um, it's a, a variety of different types of documents from different uh, types of institutions that are associated uh, with the uh, election campaign, uh, some quite um, unexpected uh, angles that are, that are you know, quite interesting, some, um, some even entertaining. The WikiLeaks emails have impact forcing the resignation of the head of the DNC, Debbie Wasserman Schultz, after it was shown that the DNC gave special treatment to Hillary Clinton in order to block rival Democratic candidate Bernie Sanders. Brett? Kevin, one more thing. I mentioned at the top of the show uh, the breaking news. The courts have now weighed in on a new batch of emails from the State Department. What did they rule? Well, that's right. The most significant decision affects the 14,900 emails recovered by the FBI from Clinton's server. The federal judge ruled that the State Department has until September 13th to show which emails are government related. And the chief of investigations at Judicial Watch told Fox News just a short time ago that records about Benghazi were among the deleted files, Brett. Okay, we'll follow that, Captain. Thank you. You're welcome. Hillary Clinton is attacking Donald Trump over something most Americans had never heard of a month ago. As we told you last night, it's called the alternative right, alt-right for short. 